Hey everyone, it's Molly here at Driven. I am standing in the body shop, just taking a little break from sanding and um, the grinders and the DAs have finally stopped. So you might be able to hear me on this video at this point um, because everybody else is at lunch. So um, I'm a little dirty from sanding epoxy. That's, that's all nasty dirt from, uh, well not dirt, sorry. It's dust from this car. So I've been block sanding the Monty all morning. Um, this is the same money that is in the CarCraft article that will be coming out next month um, about the rust repair that we did on it already. And uh, it is currently available online too, so you can check that out. Um, but while I was doing that, Rachel was um, continuing to strip material off of the 49 um, Frankenstein build of a custom truck. Now this truck was not anything that we have done anything to other than disassembly at this point. So right now we are tearing it down. And um, as you might know here, we do not cover over any other um, substrates from other um, shops or past paint jobs. So we take everything back down to bare metal. Um, the tragedy on this one is that the owner of the truck already paid somebody to build this to this point. Um, when he brought it here for us to take a look at this earlier this spring, I want to say it was like February, um, we were concerned. We knew that there was going to be a lot of issues with it, but we weren't quite um, expecting all of the issues that have popped up since we started taking off uh, like primer and um, lots and lots and lots of body filler. So um, Rachel cleaned up a little bit, so it's going to be cleaner around the truck than it's been in several days because we have actually gotten most of the primer and body filler off of it at this point. And um, now we're getting into chiseling things off of the truck or more things. If you were at the open house, you got to see some of it. Um, so we're just gonna take a real quick look at what we're dealing with. Um, so the entire truck looked like that mostly. It was like, um, gray primer essentially they had some overspray of other like etch prime on it um and then for some really strange reason they um decided to paint the dash and um, the door jams it's kind of hard to see because it's so bright um, but you can see that they edged the doors and after they edged the doors they decided to do some more welding so they burnt the paint when I say edged the doors, I mean that they painted the outside of the door, like the whole sill area, like the part that you don't see when the door is closed. Um, but then they went over it with uh, body filler and other things. Um, this, we didn't do this. This was, uh, I think we chipped away a little bit, but they had done something to it, but they burned it. So they came back and welded after they had already had it in paint. Um, they do have several modifications done to the inside of the truck, like for the steering column where that comes in through the firewall. It does have a custom firewall and um, floor kit, which is actually the same kit that um, I was helping install on the Chevy Montage build. So I'm very familiar with this kit and um, they didn't do it right. So that much I know just from even visually looking at it because it doesn't fit the way that it should. Um, then we started uh, chipping mud off. And if you can see here, that's what the door shut. And we took off enough mud that now there's a lip there. I don't know, what is that? Like half an inch, just in that spot. And the funny thing is, is that they had built it out on the door also. So for some reason, they made the entire truck bigger. I don't know why. I still can't figure it out. Um, and whoever did this spent a lot of time doing it. So it's even more disturbing because somebody was paid to do it and do it very wrong. So you can see more of... Um, the mud work that we are still working on chiseling and grinding and getting it out of here. So they did shave the drip rails. So there used to be, um, 
you know, it keeps the rain out. So there used to be like that little half inch piece of metal that would go all the way around the door sill. Well, they shaved it off and now um, instead of using metal to fill it back in and proper repair procedures, they sculpted it out of mud. The entire door sill is basically an elaborate sculpture of body filler, which, I mean, I have to say I'm impressed with their um, enthusiasm for sanding, but you could not pay me enough to do that. So we'll do it right. We'll do it with metal. Um, it's going to be a challenge. It almost looks like this whole pillar is tilted inwards. And I don't, I, I'm a little concerned that they didn't, they didn't brace the cab properly when they were doing all of these modifications to the floor and the structure. Um, let's see, where should we continue here? Um, down here, what the owner told us is that they made the doors longer. So they patched in a panel here and then used the original door bottom below that. And then for some silly reason, instead of like making an actual panel or I don't know, buying a cab corner because you can, um, they used not one, not two, but no, they used three pieces of metal and some really bad, to put it nicely, um, metal shaping techniques. I'm not, maybe rocks were used to beat the panels. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, that's just horrendous. That's nowhere near, that's supposed to be round, guys. I mean, you're, that right there, you should, the guy should have looked at that. I'm assuming it's a guy. It could have been a woman. I don't know. Um, should have looked at that and gone, um, that's going to be too much mud. I need to redo that patch or actually, you know, known that when they put it in. So down here, we've got even more mud. So that's all coming out. I mean, we're essentially archeologists at this point. Um, for some stupid reason, they cut it or did something and then had to re-weld it down here. I don't, I don't really get it. Um, so sorry, I can't give you like better explanations on their reasoning behind this stuff. And I am not gonna say who did it either because I don't actually know. Um, so it looks like we're gonna be in for the same thing over here. I mean, this, this separation should not be there. Uh, all of this, again, is all sculpted mud work all the way up and around because somebody really liked to sand. So um, that you shouldn't need to use this much mud, especially on door openings. Because what happens when you do that is the whole thing, if this truck had ever actually been on the road, he would have had stuff falling off of it, popping off of it. Every time he closed the door when he got somewhere, more cracks would have happened. It was already cracking and the truck hadn't even been driven. So um, we're gonna make it right, but it's a long road ahead and it's even longer every time we take more material off. So <sighs> time for lunch. All right, that's it for today. If you have questions about what else we find, I'll try and post some pictures a little bit later. Um, if you have questions about what we find or how we think we're going to fix it, which honestly, until we see it all, we can't really tell you, um, let us know. But I'm going to go eat. So thanks for catching the update and um, stay tuned because there's going to be a lot more coming. See you guys.